Before I got pregnant, I had a bad attitude to life. I was drinking, I was staying out late with my friends and I wasn't bothering with any schoolwork. I had no ambitions in life. I just wanted to stay out. I didn't really care about anyone but myself. I was 15 when I became pregnant and I thought, you know, it would be fun. It would give us something to do, it would give us something to love. Um, but it's really not like that. It's just like, you know, all the hard work that comes with it, it's just like unreal. <laughs> This is my lovely washing pile that gets bigger every single day. When I was 15 and even younger, I was having sex and I just didn't think about contraception, but I was also like pushed into like doing things I really didn't want to do. And you would get like cold names, such as being tight and stuff, just and you used to like feel like you had to do it. And like I was hanging on with people older, like, like older boys and stuff, and they like used to say, that I had to like, you know, do these kind of things or people would tell someone I was tight or frigid or something. Older, like, men, like boys, were probably, probably did take advantage of us because I just wanted to please them. I didn't want to, like, seem like silly, like a silly girl or anything. I just wanted to be grown up. Don't be worried about asking for help when it comes to sex or relationship questions. I didn't have the help that I needed and maybe I wouldn't have gotten pregnant at a young age if I had the help. As a teenager, I went through the stage of drinking drugs. I moved out my mum's home and was in hostel after hostel. At the time, I was going through a stage of self-harming is to cope with everything. Any little problem seemed like a huge problem that I would never ever be able to overcome. And now I'm covered in scars and I've got to deal with that for the rest of my life. I really didn't want to be here anymore. I didn't think I'd be able to cope with life in general, all the like tasks and stuff that I had to go through. And it was just a long road of depression. When I was younger, I really thought like having sex was part of a relationship just the lifestyle I've lived I just wanted to be loved and I just wanted the feeling and that just to be happy and I took things far too fast I didn't think about them it's not like a dolly it's it's not something you can just dress up it's like a lifelong commitment it you've got to go through all the sleepless nights the feeds through the nights the wind where he wakes up screaming you don't know what's wrong with him and it's like, it's not just to have something to love because you've got to take care, really good care of them as well because they're going to look up to you for the rest of your life. I like to go to the beach, which is only half an hour's walk. The children can run round and tire themselves out and it just gives me a bit of time to just lie and relax with the sound of the waves and it's a bit of me time. I was 19 when I fell pregnant with Naomi and I was 19 when I had Naomi. I had my own flat by that point, but I wasn't actually ready to be a parent. Even though I had been with my partner eight years, I didn't feel ready and it was a shock. I was on the pill before that, but it had problems, so I just stopped taking it and I weren't on any contraception at the time. I didn't really think I would become pregnant. Well, I was really scared at first, but after I had took the test, I told my boyfriend and before I had time to think, he had rang everyone and told them the news. <laughs> when I found out I was pregnant, I didn't really talk to anyone. I was just shocked. I didn't really take it in at first. So I was so young, I just didn't know what to do. It's important to remember that when you do have a baby, it's up to both the mum and dad to look after the baby because it's hard on both of you. You've just got to ask yourself, are you ready? I became pregnant when I was 19. You may not think that's very young, but I do. I was working, I was doing really well in my job, I was in a strong relationship with my partner and I didn't expect that to happen, that we were going to get pregnant. I was using contraception, which I thought was safe. I was on the contraceptive pill, 
would have been the daughters for the course antibiotics and no one told me that that would cancel my pill out and I ended up getting pregnant. When I was pregnant, I still stayed at work, but I knew that once I had my child that I would have to finish work because the money that I was getting for doing part-time when I was pregnant was just enough to keep me and my partner going. So I knew when I had a child it was going to be not enough at all, so I had to finish work. It was a big shock to my confidence because I was dead confident and I just became just me. It was just me and my bump and then all I could think, oh, that was the baby then. It's just been me and the baby, really. For me, becoming a first-time mum, I think you lose your confidence anyway because you've got, you've got this new baby and it's like your responsibility. And if you've never fed a baby before or changed a nappy, you've got, to, like, you've got no confidence because you think, I've never done this before, and you automatically panic thinking, am I doing it right, am I doing it wrong? So I think you would just lose your confidence being young and being a man for the first time anyway. No, you can't walk down on your bum. <laughs> being a young man is hard. It has been a struggle, but you do find ways to cope. And if it does happen to you, it's not the end of the world because that is help and that is support and you can get back on your feet.